So good evening and welcome to our last thought for the day for June. And it's really to let you know this will be the last thought for the day until the 1st of August. So we'll take a break during July. I'll be taking some uh, annual leave time with the family. Uh, and well, I suppose what happens every July and August is a lot of things in the church pair back. Uh, and this will be one of them uh, until uh, we're back and starting to, to go full tilt again in August. The services will continue as normal. Don't worry about that. There'll be a service every Sunday. We'll have a couple of guests. Stephen, our youth worker particularly, is going to speak at a couple of those, um, which will be great. So um, this Sunday I'll be speaking and then taking some annual leave. So this is the last thought for the day uh, for June. But I do want to encourage you to remember our runners. So our runners will be starting tomorrow morning. Well, tomorrow sometime. So we're cycling, walking, running, handstands, whatever, to do so many kilometers a week. Uh, there's a different, there's a couple of different just giving pages in the go, particularly the Church Central one. Big thank you to everybody who's already sponsored on that. There's over 500 pounds in already on that, which is superb. Um, uh, and I've actually been given another envelope tonight, so we'll be up to nearly £600, which is great. So our runners hit the ground tomorrow, so uh, like so the Cambridges and, and, and the Millses and the Browns and the Lavardies. Uh, there's uh, umpteen people who committed to walking it, I think our clerk of session, Joan, I think she said she's walking it. Hope she doesn't sack me. Um, but there's a bunch of people doing walks as well. So wherever you find them, sponsor them, is what I'm saying. Um, but now I'll get out of the way and let Gardener's World take over. Some time ago, my wife bought these two sets of plants for out the front of the house. Uh, I don't know what they're called. Uh, plants. We'll settle for plants. Uh, one is this glorious pink. And the other, as you see, is a fairly barren sort of creature. The interesting thing is when Fiona bought these two plants, they were both... Like this one, they were both glorious. They were both uh, covered in these beautiful flowers, um, covered in bees and, uh, and insects. And for some reason, this one has lost them all. And the question I find myself asking over and over again is, is why? Why has one ended up like this and one ended up like this? And I suppose we ask ourselves a couple of natural questions through that. We ask, well, is it something to do with the soil that this one has struggled uh, and all the flowers have died on it? So is it something it's feeding from part of the problem? Or is the problem something a bit more sort of environmental or external? Because what we discovered was this one was in a lot of light all the time. And this one was actually in a fair bit of shade most of the time. So was it something about the environment that it was living in? that was causing it its difficulties and its loss of flowers. And to be honest, I don't know. But something clearly caused one to flourish and one to fail. One to do well and one to struggle. In many ways, as I've looked at them and thought about them, I frequently kind of think this, in many ways, feels like it sums up Christian growth for me. Christian growth can be in many ways summed up into a couple of things. It's what do we grow from? What do we feed on? What feeds our growth as Christians? The second would be what environments do we find ourselves in? Are the environments that are uh, poor for us or difficult for us? When it comes to feeding, you know, as a Christian, I, I, I know that, that my feeding comes from scripture, it comes from times of prayer, it comes from times of silence and solitude, it comes from church, it comes from listening to people teach scripture. Um, and 
And although I bore you all on a Sunday morning, I will frequently follow another service later on after that so that I can get fed as well. That's been one of the benefits of this season. So feeding is important. It helps us grow in knowledge uh, of our Father um, and those times of quiet and solitude and prayer feed our souls. So without those we know we're not going to grow well. The well, other one is environment. I know as a Christian there are some environments in which I will flourish. Church would be one of those community. Uh, spending time with Christians. Also spending time uh, without Christians, but in good company. That will help me grow and flourish. Uh, it will make me aware of who I am and where I am. I'll be in conversations that are enriching of the soul. The difficulty is I can also find myself in environments that I know are not good for me. Poison, if you, uh, poisonous, if you will, that will pull me down and, and, and lead me astray in conversation and in thought and in attitude and how I treat people. And it's not that we are seeking to be removed from the world or from difficult positions, but I just know there are some environments that are not good for me to be in. And so as we've been looking at these two plants over the past couple of months, and the dramatic difference in them, the difference from flourishing to struggling, it's made me really think about how do I feed and what environments do I find myself in? And simply this thought today is really, what feeds you? And I encourage you to pursue it. What environment is good for you? And I encourage you to pursue it. And what environment is bad for you that you know is not good for your growth? And I encourage you to avoid it. Simple thoughts. What will make me flourish? What will cause me to struggle? The problem is sometimes those environments quite like. But I want you to look at my two plants and wonder what one do you want to be? It's not a hard question is it? And it doesn't seem to be that hard to work out the answer. So I just encourage you, pursue that that will make you flourish. Pursue that environment that will help you grow. Avoid that environment that will hold you back. going to put this one somewhere sunny and I hope that it will begin to grow again. the mm -hmm. 
more 